Hello everybody, Jan Ali here and today I am back with another tutorial on how to add the voice into tracks that I showed you in the last video to OBS Studio. So first of all, you want to have OBS Studio, so you want to head over to obsproject.com and then you click download OBS Studio. Now once you click download OBS Studio, uh, it will pop up with three different uh, operating systems. If I have Windows 10, which is higher than Windows 7, so it will be I click Windows 7 Plus. Once I click that, it will start downloading, and then after you uh, download that, you're going to right click the actual program and run as administrator for it to download like any other program uh, you have. Next, you want to go to your OBS. Now, after your OBS is downloaded, uh, you see a scenes with like only one scene called scene one, maybe no sources, and probably no audio in the mixer options. Back in the last video I said this was your microphone, this was cable input, and this was your voice meter input as well. So, we're going to go head down to uh, your settings, and then make sure the theme dark so that it's nice on the eyes. But if you like the, the light version, which is default, um, you can. But anyway, I'll keep it on dark because it's nicer for my eyes. We're going to head down to audio, make sure your sample rate is on 48 kilohertz with your channels and stereo and desktop audio device uh, device 2 and uh, microphone audio device 1 all on uh, the voice to options the way we do this is we're going to click desktop audio device click it and then you input the voice to input of cable input which one you want let's say I want this video, but it doesn't make a difference but you can put in the phone and the next one you don't want voice to input you want voice to your cable input instead and then for your microphone, it'll come all the microphones that you have, microphone on my headset, uh, cable output, which we don't use, and you've got uh, your microphone, and then you've got your outed, you know, your, your enhanced microphone, on a voice meter, so you want to click voice meter output. Now these are your three tracks that you're going to use, um, this one is for your Discord or TeamSpeak or whatever you use. Uh, this is for your normal sounds and then voice meter output is for your microphone. Remember that the desktop audio device is your uh, number one is going to be your uh, just normal sounds. So I'm going to click apply then click OK and now we've got desktop audio, desktop audio 2 and microphone. Click into mixer, the options for mixer to get the advanced audio properties. Now you've got your mic, desktop audio, and desktop audio two. Uh, our desktop audio number one was our normal programs. So you're gonna put that to like about minus ten decibels. Slow it on here. Otherwise, we can change it. It's ten point two, but we want to have minus ten decibels um, to start off with. I mean, you can change it later. You can change it higher if you want by going into device properties. Um, your microphone, mine's uh, a blue snowball, which is quite quiet to be honest. But it depends on your microphone, what, what, what snowball you have. If it's a loud snowball or a quiet snowball, you want to change the your microphone volume accordingly. Keep desktop audio 2 on 100 because you can change that on the fly as well. And you want to press close. Now you've got all of these. If you go back to uh, voice meter, we said that each single one of these, one, two, and three, can be uh, just on a separate track. But how would we make it on a separate track for recording, but all of one in streaming? So you want to go back to your OBS, click your settings, and then click your output. As you see on streaming, it says audio track. You can't change this audio track from one and two. It has to be just one of these different audio tracks. Keep it on one, press apply, press OK. Next, we're going to go to a mixer again. As you see here, these are tracks. So we put the streaming audio track onto one, so every single one of these, your microphone, desktop audio 2, and desktop audio should be checked on one. And the rest, if you uncheck, just to make it a bit easier. What we're going to do now is have each one, your microphone, desktop audio, and two, and desktop audio, to be um, on different tracks. So when you're recording, you can uh, only use those tracks and separate your audios from the different. Oh my god, this is good. <laughs> Sub to Ally, guys. 
link in the description for his channel anyway back to the task now microphone put up two desktop audio put up three desktop audio link top there's okay mate uh on four now close settings and go to your output again with recording you can use whatever but make sure your audio track is two three and four if it's on one then it will pick up you have four audio tracks and one of them will be all them together which should be harder to use but if you've got like sony vegas or any, any audio editing program that can um, deal with multiple audio tracks and this is a good way to separate tracks uh, have them lower at times have them higher at times so people don't overpower people in your videos next press ok and that's that's it basically you've done you've got all your um, settings you need for the uh, audio you've got your microphone here but you can see if you talk into voice meter uh, it goes up on voice meter and it goes up on the thing which means it, you are having this correctly next you know you can just test out with your friends on desktop audio 2 and just put some music in the background for desktop audio and then if all of these green things go up you can you, you, you can start streaming with the audio track so yeah thank you guys for watching please comment up below what video i should do next tutorial wise and sub to alloy uh, so guys, see you in the next video.